how do we find a percentage of a number, say 20% of 100 or 33% of 117? It really just depends on what method you want to use. I'll show you two different ones here today. Uh, the first method would be we take every single uh, percentage and we make it into a decimal. Uh, here's your decimal right here, and we slide it over two spots to the left, so 20% would become 0 0.20. 25% would become 0 0.25, and 33% would become 0 0.33. Now, what do we do with it? Uh, we now take the decimal, and we times it by the number that we have. So 20% uh, of 100, we take 0.20 and times it by 100. So again, here's 0 0.20 times 100. And the result will be 20% of 100. 20% of 100 is 20. I, I used an easy number here, uh, so that way you could make sense of it in your head. 20% of 100 is 20. Um, when we come over here, well, we would use 25% as a decimal, so 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 times 80. And that means that 25% of 80 is 20. Let's see if that makes sense for us. 25% uh, is the same thing as one-fourth, or it takes four quarters to make a dollar or 100%. So 20, 20, and 20. We have four 20s that add up to be 80, and each one of those is representative of one-fourth of 80 or 25%. So that does make sense there. Um, let's take a look at what happens when you have a, a number that's not as nice and easy and probably will result in a decimal. 33% of 117, so 0.33 times 117. So, let's see, let's clear that off there. 0 0.33. 0.33. Seems my computer catches up. There you go, 0 0.33 times 117 is 38.61. So what's 33% of 117? It's 38.61. Now, if there's directions about rounding, you would just follow rounding on the directions. That's the first method. The second, me the second method would be setting up a ratio and cross-multiplying. We would take the percent and we set it up as a fraction, so 20 out of 100. We want to know 20% of 100, so we put 100 down here. And we'd put an X up here. So this number flows in right here. And once we solve for X, that'll tell us what 20% of 100 is. 20 times 100 would be 2,000. And 100 times X is 100X. Divide both sides by 100. And you would find out that, yes, X is 20. Same thing over here. How do I make 25% as a fraction? 25 over 100 equals, let's see, 80 is the full amount, so that will be down at the 100% range, okay? And X is going to be whatever 25% of 80 is. So 20, 25 times 80, let's pull up the calculator here. 25 times 80 is 2,000. And 100 times X, that's 100X. Divide both sides by 100, and yep. It's still 20, just like we learned last time. Let's see if how this one works out. 33% as a fraction is 33 over 100 equals, let's see, 117 would go on the bottom because that's the 100%, that's the full amount. And here's X at the top. So 33 times 117 is what I need to figure out. Three thousand eight hundred sixty-one. equals 100x because 100 times x completes that and now divide both sides by 100 and that will be 38.61 which again that's what we found out was 33% of 117 38.61 that's about a third of 117